Today's Gospel, Sunday, May 8, is taken from St. John, chapter 10, verses 27 to 30. Jesus said, My sheep hear my voice, I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. No one can take them out of my hand. My Father who has given them to me is greater than all, and no one can take them out of the Father's hand. The Father and I are one. The Gospel of the Lord Today's Faith Food Reflection is from Brother Arnold Aviles of PDCC. I grew up in a very patriarchal family. My father was the boss. His words served as the rule in the house. He was a strict man and with such characteristic, he also disciplined us according to his own standard. Whatever he said, everyone obeyed. Due to this atmosphere at home, my father's voice was the law. His voice was to be heard and followed. In the Gospel today, Jesus speaks of his relationship with us. He emphasizes the fact that he is the good shepherd, we are his flock. If he is the shepherd and we are his flock, how do we describe this relationship then? This is a profound and an intimate relationship. Probably the most intimate relationship that we would ever have. In the intimacy of this relationship, Jesus expects us, his sheep, to relate to him in a very concrete way. He expects us to do something to be able to nurture this relationship. The first way to relate to the Good Shepherd is hearing His voice. Having an intimate relationship with Him will pave the way to hearing or recognizing His voice. Due to the intimacy of the relationship, it is easy to identify, know, and understand the Shepherd's voice. If we cannot reach a certain depth in our relationship with the Shepherd, it is hard for us to distinguish His voice from the other voices around us. But it is not enough to recognize the voice of the Shepherd. It is not enough to hear His voice. It is not sufficient to discover the message of His voice. Jesus, the Good Shepherd, expects us to follow Him. Following the direction of His voice is another component that measures the depth of our commitment with the Shepherd. This means taking the path that the voice leads us to. Hearing and following the Good Shepherd are actions that can be done by the sheep who have built intimacy with the Lord. What else does the Gospel tell us about our relationship with Jesus? the Good Shepherd, that aside from speaking to us and guiding us, Jesus promises that He will protect us. He assures us of this protection when He said, No one can take them out of My hand. No danger can ever touch us. As a shepherd, Jesus promises us eternal life too. No human shepherd, no human authority, leader, politician, etc. has ever pronounced the promise of protection and eternal life. Only the Good Shepherd. We may be asking the question, How will Jesus do all these promises? The next part of the Gospel gives us the answer. Jesus said, the Father and I are one. The intimate relationship between Jesus and the Father is the model of Jesus' relationship with us. Because the Father is almighty, then Jesus enjoys the power given by the Father 
to protect and guide us. Our relationship with the Good Shepherd may be the most profound and most stable relationship we could ever have. In relating with Jesus, the Good Shepherd, we too relate with the Father in heaven. What is expected of us then? Hear the Good Shepherd and follow Him. Certainly, He will do the rest. He will lead us to the Father and He will make sure that we are protected and consequently experience eternal life. Let us pray. Lord, grant me the grace to hear and follow Jesus, our Good Shepherd. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.